Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. You understand that? Well, if you don't speak goat, you probably didn't, but that's okay. I just said, hello, kids. It's good to see you. Bam! And as you can tell, I've been very busy this past week. Busy with what, you might ask? Well, your boy Carl here is in his third week of farming, and I guess you could say I'm quite the natural. I think I was born to be on the farm. Number one reason why? I can now speak animal. Well, farm animal, at least. I'm serious. Name any animal. I can do it. A pig? <coughs> Cow? Horse? That was him sleeping. But you get the idea. Hey there, Carl. Grace, I'm so glad you're here. Or should I say, ah! Whoa, you speak goat now? I sure do. I am fully fluent. Oh, wow, that is so cool. How'd you learn it so fast? Well, to be honest, it's just being on this farm by myself for the past three weeks. It's really forced me to learn these animals' languages. Really? How so? Well, when you think about it, when you're a kid, how do you learn any language? By being around it, hearing it, practicing it. So that's what I have done. That's awesome. I've actually learned a lot this past week too. Oh really? What's that? Well, kind of like how you have been meeting with animals every day, I've actually been meeting with someone special every day too. What? Who? Jesus. Jesus? What? Where? How's that possible? Where'd you see him? Cracker Barrel? Well, no, it was actually not what you're thinking. Okay, explain. Well, I've been reading about the times where Jesus talked to the disciples after his resurrection, and it got me thinking, why can't I meet with Jesus? Well, that's easy. You can't meet with him because he's not on earth anymore, right? Well, that's what I thought, but let me explain. After Jesus rose from the dead, he wanted to meet with his disciples. And when they saw him, they were so happy. They looked at the scars on his hands and his side from when he was on the cross, and they all believed Jesus was telling the truth. The thing is, there was one disciple who wasn't there though to see Jesus. Who? His name was Thomas. And when the disciples told him that they saw Jesus alive, he didn't believe them. Really? Why? Well, think about it. His friends were saying that their teacher, who they had all witnessed die a horrific death, was said to be alive again. Would you believe it? I mean, I get that. I couldn't even believe that chickens laid eggs. So it wasn't until a week later when Thomas got to see Jesus. And when Thomas saw the scars, he became overwhelmed and began to worship him. Then Jesus said this, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Wow, so that's what you meant by when you said uh, you're meeting with Jesus. Exactly. You see, Jesus appeared before his friends yet another time so that Thomas could be included. He wanted to give Thomas a chance to meet with him, to know what they were saying was true. And now that they had all seen with their very eyes, they could go and let others know all about Jesus too. And we know that anyone who believes in him and chooses to follow him will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, which is something that is always with you. So if we choose to, we can meet with Jesus anytime we want, every day for the rest of our lives. That's awesome, but how? What do you mean? Well, how do I meet with them? Do I have to like call and schedule like a like a doctor's appointment or something? Not exactly. It's much easier. We can do it through many ways, but I like to meet with Jesus through prayer. I talk to Jesus. About what? Everything. There will be moments where I'll just talk to God about whatever is on my mind, what I'm struggling with, what I hope for, what I'm thankful for, anything that crosses my mind. But there are also times where I say nothing. I sit in silence and breathe and just know that I have the Holy Spirit right there with me. It also gives me assurance that Jesus is there with me as well. Wow, 
I guess I never thought about it like that. Even me, walking around the farm doing chores, thinking about God can be a way of meeting with Jesus. It sure can. We are very lucky we have a God that makes it so easy to meet with Him. That's true. And it's anytime, right? Because there's sometimes I want to hang out with my cows and goats, but they're like busy sleeping and stuff. Of course. Jesus is always ready to meet and always willing to listen. He loves spending time with his children. That is so cool. Or should I say, that, that. Wow, that was really good. That, that. Well, folks, today our big idea is, that. and for you who don't speak goat, it is that I can meet with Jesus every day. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. I can meet with Jesus every day. Great job, everyone. I hope you had a great time learning about Jesus and how much he loves meeting with you. We hope to see you next time on the next episode of Grow TV. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow